Hello my friends and welcome to 30 Days of Yoga Camp. It's day 23. Time to be free. The mantra today is I am secure. It's a tough one. Let's get started. Okay, doke. Today we're going to begin lying flat on the back. So come on to the ground. Take a second to get situated here. It always takes just a moment, right, to get settled in. So begin to get settled in here, and whenever you're ready, just let the hands rest gently on the hip points here and the elbows down on the ground. And go ahead and soften through your feet, so we'll start to engage things here in a second, but just begin by Letting the weight of the body go. Closing your eyes. And taking a big breath in. Exhale out through the nose or mouth. And again, big breath in. Big breath out. And one more time here, big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Begin to engage the legs. Press into the heels, toes up towards the sky. Just a nice, easy, full body stretch here. Big breath in. Exhale. Two more like that. Inhale, big breath. And exhale. And keep reaching, big breath. And exhale, floating the palms down to your sides. Awesome. We're going to take both knees in towards the heart here. Scoop the tailbone up so the lower back is flush with the mat. Then nice and easy, turn the palms face up. Open through the chest, open through the heart. Inhale in. On an exhale, slowly peel the nose up towards the knees or towards the feet. So see if you can keep an openness in the chest here. Let the elbow creases shine up towards the sky. So just slowly waking up that, that core, lighting that fire in the belly, just nice and slow here. If you need a little more, you can lift the shins parallel to the ceiling and just maintain um, awareness in the neck here. One more breath. And then exhale, release everything, knees wide, arms at your sides, soles of the feet together. Oh, recline to cobbler's pose here. Three breaths, here we go. Inhale in. Big exhale out. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. Big exhale, close your eyes. Keep playing with your breath here. Hmm, the mantra today, I am secure. Say it to yourself. If I am secure isn't resonating, maybe you switch it up. Again, we've talked about, you know, playing with these mantras. Maybe it's, I feel secure. Close your eyes. Continue to deepen the breath. Feel the weight of the legs dropping down, the hips heavy, fingertips soft. Let's take a breather here. I am secure. Good, then press into the soles of the feet, draw the toes down. Take your heels as wide as your yoga mat. So coming into a little reclined star pose here, just creating a big X with the body. So X marks the spot, kind of doing the little physical manifestation of like, okay, you are here, I am here, I am secure. You guys know that feeling? That feeling, I'm sure, you know, we've all had this feeling, right? Where you're like, I don't know, 
I don't know where the rent's gonna come, <laughs> but it's gonna come. If you're an artist, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, or I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but I can either freak out about it and fret about it and poison myself, or I can just trust, be secure in the moment, be secure with who I am, the path that I've chosen or the path that has chosen me. So we're being super bold here and just coming into like an X mark the spot pose. Feel the weight of the body on the earth. Close your eyes and imagine the earth rising up to meet you. Continue to deepen your breath. And again, we say, I am secure or I feel secure. I am secure in this moment. I am secure with my body. Couple more nice conscious breaths here in this shape, in this space. So good for the body, just rest. And then nice and slow, starting with the fingertips, bring the fingertips in, and slowly the arms in, and cross the left arm over the right as you give yourself a big hug. Squeeze, maybe the arms are a little sore from your practice. You've been doing awesome lately, so maybe you give yourself a little rub. And maybe you just, maybe you need a hug today. I mean, I don't want to sound too hokey, but sometimes, dude, take it. A little hug from yourself. I am secure. Keep saying it, keep breathing. Inhale, open out, big stretch. Spread the fingertips, spread the toes. And then opposite arm on top. So right arm on top this time, same thing. Give yourself a hug, wiggle the fingertips underneath the shoulder blades here if it feels good. And one more time, we say to ourselves quietly or out loud, I am secure. Yes. Unravel the arms, take them to the outer edge of the legs, slowly walk the feet in. Inhale in, exhale, hug the knees up towards the heart, take the hands to the backs of the thighs, and just a couple seconds to rock and roll here. Tend to your lower back, tend to the sacrum. Mm. And for me, the mantra, I am secure, it can get a little serious. At least I was noticing that earlier today when I was doing my homework. So I am secure, right? Is it better to say I am insecure <laughs> or I'm secure? It's just that simple. So, so focus on your mantra, drop your pin down, X marks the spot, and then don't forget to have a little fun today. We're gonna, we're gonna start by rocking and rolling whenever you're ready, front to back, whew. Notice if this rock and roll movement has gotten a little easier. Maybe the body feels less heavy. Maybe the mind is just more open to play. Give it one more rock and roll, massaging the spine, finding what feels good, and then we'll rock all the way up to a nice cross-legged seat. Sit up nice and tall here. Palms come to the tops of the knees. We loop the shoulders a couple times, forward, up, and back. Warming up the body, continuing to deepen the breath. And then relax the shoulders down, tag a little weight in the elbows here. Notice if you're coming forward or if you're rounding the spine. If this is the shape that your body's in, let's find a little support by lifting the hips up on a blanket, a pillow, or a block. Or a book. Or a small child, just kidding. <laughs> I love kids, I'm just playing. I just wanted you to laugh, right? Not take it too seriously. That I am secure mantra can get a little like, am I? <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. So remember the affirmations, you know, they're not always gonna be like, yeah, super easy breezy believable. We're, in the, we're committing to a process, right? And enjoying the journey, <laughs> sitting on blocks, blankets, <laughs> small children, just kidding. Okay. Sit up nice and tall, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And ultimately, I'm just trying to make you smile a little bit. And stay present. Big circles with the nose. One way and then the 
together. Mm. Yeah, great. Then uncross the legs. We're gonna send the left leg out and then make sure you activate through that left foot right away. We're gonna cross the right ankle over. So we've done this together here and now we're crossing the right foot over. Great. Inhale, reach the left fingertips up super high. Exhale, take it over towards the outer edge of your right leg. That's what it's called. And then we're taking a second here to just notice what's going on through the spine. That's why I told you to find support by lifting the hips up if you're already here because we're wanting to slowly find this length here. And the, finger, the right fingertips are not behind us yet because that we have a tendency to kind of sink back here, crunch into those fingertips. So we're here today. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, journey into your twist. Eventually we can release the right fingertips down maybe, but just notice those kind of old habits, especially if you've been doing yoga for a while to kind of plant and crank. <laughs> So let's keep it in the spine, connecting to the energy, just warming up here. So we're going to come into another twist later. So no need to rush it. Close your eyes, visualize the spine from the crown of the tail, all from the crown of the tail, from the tip of the tail, all the way up to the crown of the head. Relax your shoulders down. One more breath here. And slowly unravel. We'll send the right foot out and lift the left knee up. Activate through your extended leg and then cross the left foot over. Inhale, really, 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 really sit up nice and tall. Reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. Find length and then outer edge here of the arm and the leg. Then before you sink back here, and maybe you just don't sink back in this, in this first twist, see if you can find that support from within whatever that means to you. For me, it means engaging from the base here, drawing energy up. And sitting up nice and tall, visualizing the space between each vertebra, like really, really rising up. And then hugging the lower ribs in, drawing my navel in. And all that jazz, start to, left fingertips maybe come behind. And then just notice if you kind of went into old habits there. Big breath, big breath in through the nose. Big breath out through the nose. Got zened out there, slowly unravel, really nice. Send both legs out long, inhale, reach. Lengthen through both side bodies, firm down through both legs, inhale in. Exhale, bend the knees softly, send it forward. Fingertips touch the ankles, the toes maybe, maybe not. And then they trace all the way back up and we inhale, reach. Exhale, melting forward. Use the whole inhale to reach, 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 inhale. Exhale, cascading down here. And one more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, active through the feet, forward fold. Take a second here, breathe into the back body. Again, you can bend the knees super generously here. No need to try to crank into some certain shape that you think you need to be in. Your body knows, so listen to your body. Why, why do I say it like that? Listen to your body. Great, then slowly we'll unravel. Lift the knees up, cross the ankles, and dive forward onto all fours. Notice what your body feels like today. A little light, are you like, whoo, gosh, feeling good, feeling secure. Notice if you're feeling a little heavy. So we're gonna use this practice, the opportunity to go through our checklist, as I like to say, pulling the shoulders back, pressing up and out of the yoga mat. We're going to use this checklist, this opportunity to check in with the body, expand awareness, and tend to whatever needs to be tended to today. So just listen. One more breath here. Just going through the checklist. may look like I'm not doing 
much, but I am. I'm pressing into the tops of the feet, pressing away from our yoga mat. I'm tending to a little injury, maybe. I'm lengthening through the neck. One more breath here, wherever you are. And then on an exhale, curl the toes under and send it up to down dog. Take a second to pedal it out. And then find stillness here. Close your eyes and repeat the mantra, I am secure. Rock on, then slowly lower the knees. And we'll come onto the tops of the feet and cat cow, dropping the belly. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, tucking the tail. One more, inhale. And exhale. Great, now curl the toes under and inhale, drop the belly, heart forward. Now exhale, press near your foundation, exhale, downward dog. Slow your roll, inhale, toes stay curled here, knees softly drop, heart forward. Exhale, press into all 10 fingerprints, send it back. Down dog. We just do three more of these, nice and slow. Inhale, slowly lower the knees. Loop the shoulders, press up and out of your foundation. Heart forward, exhale, rounding, sending it back, melting the heart, down dog. Inhale, rolling through the toes. Softly landing there, inhale. Exhale, auto mukha. Inhale, heart forward. Last time, exhale, thighs back, hearts back, <laughs> hips up, down dog. Great, nice and slow, walk it up towards the front edge of your mat, take your time, come to a nice forward fold. Create a happy place here for yourself, mindful in the feet, tending to the wrists if you need to here, rocking a little side to side. Let the head go, let the heart melt. Close your eyes. And take your time here. Remember why you came to practice today and slowly we'll roll it up all the way to mountain. And today, when you rise up into your beautiful mountain pose, see if you can find something new, whatever that means to you. Maybe it's shifting the weight. Maybe, it, I mean, maybe it's just movement that you, your brain isn't telling you to do, but your body is. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. It's hard sharing yoga on YouTube. You think about everything. It's good, it definitely makes me a better teacher, better guide, a better person. Here we go, open the palms, spread the toes, see if you can find something new and then come to a nice still mountain. And we begin to deepen the breath. What are you waiting for? Begin to deepen the breath. Nourishing the body and all its systems with this nice, nice breath. And then we'll begin to link breath with movement. Inhale, reaching arms up. Full body stretch. And exhaling, fingertips down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Soft and easy here. Keep it soft. Find that flat back. And then exhale, forward fold. Plant the palms, step it back to a plank. Don't panic, nice and strong here. Pedal it out if you need to. Go through your checklist. Find that action, stacking the bones with your alignment. You got this, one more breath. Then on an exhale, slowly lower down to the belly. Feel free to lower your knees, come onto the belly, press into the tops of the feet and inhale, baby cobra. 
Open the chest, pull the elbows back. Find your breath here. Notice if you're cutting off your breath. Breathe deep. And then slowly make your way down. Breathe out. Curl the toes under. And come all the way back to that plank. Strong. Big breath in. Big breath out sends you back to down dog. Inhale. And exhale. Drop the left heel. Inhale. Lift the right leg up high. Exhale. Step it up into a nice low lunge. Inhale. Come up onto the fingertips. Open your heart. Chest forward. And exhale. Lowering the back knee. Pulling it back. Nice runner stretch. Then rolling forward. Slowly rolling through that right foot. Coming back on the fingertips and coming back to your low lunge. So lift that back knee. Great. Inhale in. Exhale. Plant the palms. Spread the fingertips wide like starfish. Connect to your core. Draw the navel in as you step the right foot back. Slowly lower down. Belly to cobra or shift your weight. Chaturanga. Hold here for one breath in Chaturanga. And then shifting forward to your up dog. Again, we're all doing our own variations here in that vinyasa. And then to downward facing dog. Stick with it. Drop the right heel. Lift the right leg up high. You got this. Big breath. Exhale. Step it up. Nice low lunge. Come up onto the fingertips. Open up through the chest. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Great. Then slowly lower right knee down. Flip the left toes up towards the sky and send it back. Little runner stretch here. Just checking in. And then slowly rolling through the left foot, opening up through the chest, the heart again. Let your heart radiate forward. Lots of energy as you draw the shoulders away and lift the back knee up again. Big breath in. Light on the fingertips. Big breath out as you plant the palms. Spread the fingertips wide. Connect to your lower belly. So check out what's going on in your core as you step this left foot back. Yeah. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog play. Move with your breath. On an exhale, everyone send it back. Child's pose. Take a rest. So keep paying attention to your breath here. You might wiggle the fingertips or tend to the wrists here. You might gently rock the head side to side, massaging the forehead. Notice if you're holding any tightness or tension in the shoulders or in the jaw. And slowly reach the fingertips back up if they are not already. Activate through the arms, lifting the elbows, and we'll come back up to all fours. Curl thy toes under and send the hips up, down dog. You guys are doing great. Stick with me. Here we go. Bend the knees, looking forward. Inhale in on an exhale. Hop, jump, float to the top. Find your forward fold. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees, inhale, reach for the sky. Full breath here, reach, reach, reach. And exhale, hands to heart. Great, bend the knees generously. So send the hip points back, 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 back. Bend the knees generously. Then swim the fingertips around to interlace, knuckles down and away as you open up through the chest. Tuck the tailbone slightly here, lift the toes. And one more breath. And then we'll slowly break free, straighten through the legs and reach the arms up high, full breath. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, halfway lift, your version. Exhale, bow. Step or hop it back to plank. Spread the palms, stay connected to your center. Slowly lower down, belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Big breath in here as you open your heart, play. Big breath out as you send it back. Adho Mukha, down dog. 
Here we go. Drop the left heel, lift the right leg up high. And then slowly sending it up into your lunge. Keep breathing. Pivot on the back foot and find warrior one. Nice and slow here as we build strong foundation. Get settled in. Inhale, reach the arms up high. And exhale, grounding down through the shoulders, finding strong, strong footing. Big breath in. Big breath out as you open up to warrior two. Whoa. Strong footing here. Looping through the shoulders, finding that lift in the heart. Then straighten through that front leg and then send the right fingertips all the way up and over. Left hand can come to the sacrum or slide down the back leg. Just careful not to put a lot of weight on it here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back to warrior two. Extended side angle, right elbow to the top of the right thigh. Nice and soft. And we send the left fingertips all the way up towards the front of the yoga mat today. Draw the shoulders away, tug them down as we've been doing. If you want to open up here, you can. And feel free to play with the arm. Big breath in, big breath out brings you back. And we move through a little vinyasa. Feel free to skip it and send it straight to down dog. Moving with your breath. We'll meet in down dog. Drop the right heel when you arrive, inhale, lift the left leg up high and step it up into your lunge. Move nice and slow as you pivot on the back foot and find your warrior one, nice and strong. Take your time, enjoy the process. There's no rush. When your arms reach, go ahead and take a big breath in to find that stretch. Press away from that back foot. Engage the right inner thigh and then exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. So really, really strong footing here. Strong breath. Then press in all four corners of that right foot. Begin to straighten the front leg. Then send the left fingertips all the way up and over. <sighs> Lengthening through both side bodies. Careful not to collapse here. We inhale, reach, 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 reach. And then exhale back to warrior two. <sighs> Extended side angle. Here we go. Inhale in. Exhale, soften. Left elbow to the top of the left thigh. Careful not to collapse here, my friends. Keep that integrity. Then reach the right fingertips all the way up and overhead. Keep the shoulder plugged in and we breathe here, pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Opportunity here for variation to play. Take one more breath and then use an exhale to slowly send it back to your lunge. Plant the palms, move through a flow that feels good for you and we'll meet in child's pose. Take a rest. Take a nice big inhale in and letting go. Awesome. From here, we'll slowly bring it back up to all fours and walk the knees out wide. Press into the tops of the feet here, big toes to touch. Pelvis is gonna rock up towards the sky as you inhale, reach right fingertips forward. Exhale, thread the needle. So I rarely teach a public class where I don't do this now. That's because we all have our ding -ding 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 cell phones and whatnot, so we need to counter that. And this is nice, nice for that. Nice, generous twist in the upper back body. Reap the full benefits of this asana by breathing deep, by finding a um, strong foundation even here, pressing in the tops of the feet, pressing into the parts of the body that are touching the earth. Maybe you lift the left elbow up. Breathe deep here. If you want to challenge your center or your core, you can slide the left toes out here. Finding that sit bone to heel connection, hugging the lower ribs in. Keep the left toes on the earth. Breathe deep here. And then if the left leg is extended, slowly reel it back in. And we'll all come back 
slowly unraveling through center. Taking a deep breath in to reach the left fingertips forward and then sending it in and underneath the bridge of the right arm. <clears throat> Same thing here. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. And then slowly finding this connection to your foundation. Go in a little deeper. Just for fun, just to connect to that center. Try to throw yourself off balance a little bit here, but maintain that strength, that connection within. You can curl the right toes under. Find this strong sit bone to heel connection in the right leg. Breathe deep. I'm not crashing onto my neck here. Strong in the body. Take one more breath. If the leg is extended, slowly begin to reel it back in with control. Big toes to touch. I unravel. I walk the palms out and I send it back. Extended child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat. This time, fingertips actively, actively reaching towards the front edge of the mat. Lift the elbows. Elbow creases shine up towards the sky. Great, then press into your fingerprints even more. Tug the shoulders back and let the heart slide through all the way onto the belly. Mindful of the knees here, press into the tops of the feet. Now slowly, we're gonna walk the fingertips off the mat here. Tent the palms, so lift the center of the palms, but press into all 10 fingerprints. Watch out, hoodie. Press into your foundation, pubic bone into the earth. Inhale, tuck the chin into the chest, slowly roll up through the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, maybe grow a little taller. And exhale, release. Don't push it. Shoulders and ears have lots of space. So if you find yourself here, you need to keep it nice and low, working on the shoulders. In time, I've been doing this a while, you'll be able to shine the eyes of the elbows forward and find length, a little king cobra here. But take your time, right? If it doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good. So back up the truck. <laughs> One more breath wherever you are, and then let the exhale release you down. Awesome. Plant the palms. Last plank here. You got it. Curl the toes under and press up strong. Five breaths here. Strong body. Long neck. Strong foundation. One more breath, hugging the lower ribs in, navel up, find that sit bone to heel connection. Sweet, and slowly lower the knees. Send the legs to one side and come to seated. Mm. Mm. So good. When that plank starts to get easier, even if you've been doing this a long time, and some of you know what I'm talking about, like when that, that plank, when holding a plank starts to be, feel like, oh yes, I'll have a little cup of tea, you connect to your strength, you start to feel really empowered, endorphins start going it's really great but i do know what it's like to get into that plank and sometimes if i just don't do a bunch of planks and then i do it you know it's tough so just be aware at today and, and and stay open to like those yummy feelings too try not to focus on the negative let's come all the way down so back to that big old x which is where we're going to settle in sending the legs out to the outer edges of the mat, sending the fingertips out, up and overhead once again. Take it nice and wide. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in through the nose. On your exhale, take a little sigh. One more, inhale in. Don't be shy, exhale, sigh it out. Slowly walk the right foot over towards the left, and then head and shoulders, head and shoulders up towards the top left. So heels are at the bottom left, excuse me. Head is at the top left, and just stay here. Keep the arms nice and wide, breathe. If you want a little more, you can cross the right ankle over the left, but we're just keeping the arms where they are.
and then back to center. And then we send the right heel back to its corner <laughs> and then cross the left ankle over or draw the left heel over to the right. Head, neck, shoulders, inch their way over towards the top right corner. So we're going for a nice gentle but juicy uh, so it shouldn't you shouldn't feel anything sharp here it should feel nice stretch in the left side body should feel a nice little stabilization through the sacrum the sacroiliac joint there on the ground and then there should be no pinching or fussiness in the head and neck so if there is just ease up a little bit and then close your eyes and let it all go And then slowly walking the head, the neck, the shoulders back. Keep the arms wide here. Slide the left leg over. This reminds you of that Eternal Sunshine poster, movie poster. I get to be Kate Winslet. One more breath here, just playing. And then slowly sliding the wrists down. Snuggling the shoulder blades underneath the heart center, opening the heart. And boom, here we are, Shavasana. Close your eyes, repeat the mantra one last time. I am secure. Connect to it, believe it, or just do your best. That's all we can do. Great work today. Super excited that uh, we're on this journey together. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.